Welcome to another exciting episode of the Men's Lounge. As always, when it's 9 p.m. on a Thursday, what do you expect? You know definitely I'm going to be seated in the lounge and would expect some gentlemen to meet me for us to have a discussion. Last week, we spoke about abusive men, you know, the issue of the pastor shooting the wife and all the stories we're hearing. But we were able to narrow it down to abusive men, what kind of characteristics we should look out for what kind of persons they are, and whether uh, an abusive man can thoroughly or completely change or not. We, 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 we learned a lot, and it's, it, we will take the person's willingness to, to, to change to obviously and uh, ultimately uh, make that change happen. So once again, welcome to uh, the show today. Um, today, there's going to be a very important discussion. But before I go there, let me just remind you that today is World Maritime Day, and there's a theme for the day celebration. I'm sure a lot of things have been happening within the maritime industry. And then so we, the, the theme is sustainable shipping for a sustainable planet. I'm trying to understand what that means, but <laughs> sustainable shipping for a sustainable planet. And so um, again, before we proceed, I want to say a very big thank you to Casa Preco Alomo Bitters who have made this uh, show possible. Also, uh, Promacido Yamvita, uh, who have been part of this show and they've been very, very, very supportive. A very good evening to most of our friends or some of our friends or all our friends from Zenith Bank, uh, the Global Media uh, Alliance Group also, and everybody else who's been part of the show. Remember to join us on all our, uh, all, all our social media platforms, uh, at uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of them, at ETV Ghana, and you can be part of this show. Also, remember to send us your messages on 020 220 Five, four. I would go on my very first break. When I'm back, we'll go straight to the discussions. Please stay with us. So welcome back. If you're just joining us, we, we just entered the men's lounge and I am seated. And the two, two gentlemen have also joined me. I'll be introducing you to them uh, shortly. But before that, today we are discussing marriage mistakes that men make married mistakes that men make. And then the question, underlining question is, do we look out a spouse or a roommate? What do we look at? And where is the mistake? So joining me in the studio today, I have Daniel Kojo DeLong, who happens to be a film actor, director, a theater a practitioner, and also a set designer. And the last part, he's a pastor. Mm, <laughs> I'm sure that's what a lot of people may not know, but he is a pastor. And also I have Lawrence Nano. Lawrence happens to be uh, the finance manager at TSL Logistics Ghana. Emrantye, nah. Akwaba. Nah. Yeah. Lawrence. Yes, sir. Who are you? Yeah, I'm sure. That's very fast, so you can just. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know that wave, the, the one they do. The, wait. Which one is that one? Wait, yeah. For pageants. For pageants. Yeah. 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 Spouse or roommate, you know. And interestingly, these two guys have been happily married. And so I want to believe that Kojo and then Lawrence will be able to give us details, tell us more about whether the whole idea should be a, a spouse or, or a roommate, where the mistakes are, which, what mistakes do men really make when it comes to marriage. And so, Kojo, yeah, Akwaba once again. You are welcome to the lounge. Lawrence, you are also welcome to the lounge. Thank you. Yeah. I haven't Thank seen you, you guys in a while. Yes, yeah, sir. it's been a while. Uh, mm -hmm. And these days, lots of issues happen. Election is also in the corner, yeah? Sure. And a lot of, a lot of things we hear day in, day out. You can only advise people to make sure they make the right decisions, isn't it? Yes, yeah. Well, we'll get there. So, I, I understand every great marriage is rooted in deep friendship. I mean, you, you guys are both married, and I, 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 I'm sure I'm going to hear a lot. So, marriage being rooted in deep friendship, that's what I hear people say. How true is that statement? <laughs> Wait, be, <laughs> oh, start from anywhere, because for me, I'm convinced that you guys are happily married. And <laughs> me, because I want to know. No, no, it's true. Uh, just like any relationship, not just marriage, um, just like any relationship. Uh -huh. Um, it is based on friendship. That okay. is my personal understanding. I'm not talking because it's what, of what I've heard. I'm talking based on what I've experienced. So whatever I'll talk about today is going to be based on what I've experienced and what I've observed from afar and, 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 and got to know. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So that is what I'm going to do. It is true. It has to do with friendship. Your spouse or your wife or your partner first is a friend. 
not just a friend, your best friend. Best friend. Your best friend. You should be able to comfortably, mm -hmm. when I talk about friend, this, this, that person should be able to comfortably discuss and quote any kind of foolish things with him. Like you, you should be able to go to the extent of discussing anything, making jokes out of anything, and laughing over everything, mm. and, 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 and to the extent that when you close your eyes, you can, you can, you can see what she will do next. And when she also does, uh, closes her eyes, does it, vice versa. So friendship first, friendship first, and not just friendship, but your best friend. Interesting. Yeah, that Lawrence. is it. Mm, I agree. Uh, you should be, f uh, you should be friends. Uh, you know, one thing is that when you are friends, you know that at the end of the day, somebody have your back. That in case of any challenges, that person can defend you at any point in time. Mm. Okay, but uh, like he said, not just a friend, but a best friend. Best friend because you share secrets together. The person, the person knows your inner feelings because you are sharing things with that person the person at any point in time so for example if he is my friend best friend when you come and you are saying something about him i can tell you it is not true okay because i know him very well okay so he is your friend also because if there is a third party coming into your friendship and the person either gossiping or want to destroy the two of you you can just say that, no, hold on, this is not correct. But I know the person you're talking about, and he will never do that. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. it has to st start with friendship so that then you will grow into the next level. Okay. So if you are not friends, the, the other effect is that you're going to have some kind of challenges. Okay. But if you have if you rooted everything in friendship, you don't have hard feelings, the person can say something that w is hurtful. But because the, he, he, she is your friend, what happens? You forgive. Mm. If you can't forgive, the person is not your friend. If you can't forgive, the person is no, not your friend. No, if you can't forgive, the person is not your friend. Interesting. Yes. So then um, are, we, are, we saying, are we saying that there hasn't been or aren't there marriages where there hasn't been friendship but yet the couples are very okay? They don't last. Exactly. They don't last. See, let me tell you, there are a lot of people living in camouflage in marriages that I'm telling you if you see I'm talking from a, a, a pastoral point point of view. People okay. come to me with their issues and I'm telling you that things are happening. There are people who are married in the eyes of men but are divorced between the two of them. Okay. Are, are you are you saying they try to please People. Exactly, exactly, because of how. But how? Why would you want to do that? Yeah, marriage but, but is marriage. You are home with a person. But, why would you want to please those listen, outside your marriage? There's somebody who, who has been living with a man for 21 years, and that 21 years they've not been married. That's true. Yes. The person is here in this country, Ghana here. No, but how? Well, I, I don't yes, know. That's what I'm saying. Things do come to us. Someone like me, things do come to me, so I can tell you these things. I won't mention names, I won't give you clues, but I'm telling you they happen. Mm. You understand? So. If you cannot become friends, if you cannot get into that level of knowing each other, I'm telling you what, you can never sustain it. Because whenever anything tries to diminish, mm -hmm. that friendship, that trust, bring the two of you together again. And you, it makes you just laugh over the incident and you move on. You have, a, you have a quarrel with the person, but hey, you are sleeping on the same bed. If you can mm -hmm. have a quarrel with the person, no matter how difficult you are, you might not sleep on the same bed, but you are sleeping in the same house. If you get angry, you move from the bedroom, you get to the living room, and you sleep there. And I'm telling you, let any man come out here and tell me what I'm saying is a lie. Any man who gets a misunderstanding with their wife and moves away from the bed to sleep in the living room, I'm telling you on authority, Nanayao, that man doesn't sleep. The, 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 the deepest he can go is one hour <laughs> in the whole night. Why, 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 why wouldn't that man oh, sleep? Oh, let any man come and deny what I'm saying. And then you are not sleepy. If the man is sleepy, what are you telling me? I said when a man gets, a, has a, gets an, into a misunderstanding with, a with wife, the wife, you understand? And it's not resolved. And he moves away. Or, my camera's working. Eh, yenda. I will tell you. Eh, <laughs> if you had a camera on them, you would just laugh. Every two minutes, the wife will just turn. The wife will move the pillow. 
the man will move the leg. The inconvenience. Then, yes. uh, so, so both, of them, know, both of them will not sleep. It's not like the man alone. <laughs> no, it's not the man alone. Yeah, yeah, exactly. both. But it's ma men's lounge. I'm just talking about in the, yes, because, because of men. But I'm, oh, both, both don't sleep. Okay. If you get up and go to the bedroom, <laughs> as soon as she sees it, she closes her eyes. Oh, you know she's not asleep. <laughs> you know your wife. <laughs> she's not asleep. So that is why I thank, for me, I thank God for my wife. Mm. Because I taught her one thing and she now even knows it better than I do. Okay. That just like the Bible says, don't let the, the, the sun the set sun. on, the sun go down on, on, your on, on your anger. And so I'm telling you what, it doesn't matter what the misunderstanding will be. My wife, oh my dear, and she, and I now. 2 a.m., 3 a.m., you, you won't. <laughs> you understand? Mm -hmm. And she will, we will talk about it. By next morning, everybody is smiling. Nothing happened. We move on. We go. That is it. Well, so, so then. It, it, it builds from friendship. Mm -hmm. I don't know that we wouldn't have gotten there at all. So then are we, are we then putting a rating to say that, I mean, fr friendship is that important. Look, how important is friendship really? No, <laughs> it, it, it is. It is. You see, a uh, typical example is the, for example, the arranged marriages. Okay. Okay. So I'm growing up. Mm -hmm. I have a friend. Okay. And I'm used to that friend that nothing can separate us. And nothing so can separate nothing. you. Nothing. You are sure? Oh, yeah. yeah. Hmm. You, seriously. I'm saying that we are talking about not just any friend, mm -hmm. but a friend, true friend. So if it happens that you don't marry that person, you go out and go and marry in another person who, another. who was not your friend or who is not your friend. Mm -hmm. You see, any time there is conflict, you are going to remember that friend. Mm -hmm. Any time there is fight in the house, you feel like that person you called your friend that you couldn't marry is close to you to tell you certain things you, the two of you used to share yeah. when you guys were together. So the probability that if the, the man can run at any point in time or leave the house and go to that person called that called friend is very high. Mm -hmm. So there is an issue. I don't know you much, but we've gotten married. The next time I take my shirt, where am I going? I won't tell you. To I'm going to I that know. person because I feel like that person can give me comfort. Okay. You understand? Yeah. So friendship is very, very, very important. So that, like he mentioned, if there is an issue, we are all sleeping in the same house. Mm -hmm. if, if, if I'm not that close to you, I don't, I've not known you that much, what happens? I can sleep in the hall and sleep. Who cares? If you like, you can also go ahead and sleep. But if you have that bonding, that friendship with you, you won't sleep. You will pretend as if you are sleeping, <laughs> but you are not asleep. <laughs> yeah, so but friendship is very, very... I mean, very, very friendship being seen as that important when it comes to marriage, I'm very much aware mm -hmm. that go back 30 years, 40 years, 50 years ago, when these arranged marriages were there, some of them have lasted over 30 years and they are still married. You see, Daniel, we are making a mistake here. Who is making the mistake? Mm -hmm. I'm see, giving you a scenario, no, a very no, positive yeah, one that I'm aware of. So, yes. And they were not friends when they met. Listen, who says? It was an, well, it was an arranged marriage. Listen, listen, when we are told that you are betrothed to this person, mm -hmm. Your mindset, everything, your it's training so by force is friendship. geared yeah. towards him. I'm telling you. So by force friendship. So, no, uh, of course, you, you definitely have to know somebody. Uh -huh. So it is geared towards the guy. So when you, when you are not even comfortable seeing any other man, you are comfortable meeting that guy because both families have allowed that. So the guy can comfortably come to your house. You can comfortably go. That is why in, in cases where maybe the, the, the other party is arrogant, is, ha is egoistic, and is, is proud, and has other characters that maybe this, the, the other partner wouldn't, wouldn't like. It takes a while. They have to solve that situation several times before the both of them can marry. Yeah. It, gets to, it gets to a point, the lady will either say, I want, or the guy will say, I want, because this person is, 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 is not what I want. This is not a character I yeah. want to see in marriage. Yeah. But when both families are able to train their words so well, I'm telling you, it's, it goes smoothly. They, they, from infancy, they play together, they work together, they've grown, they've known each other as friends. And sometimes it even becomes so difficult that the lady will say, ah, what, she say, why are you saying why are you saying me meow? Mm -hmm. I don't know mm -hmm. what, to, what to even do. Yeah. But you are my wife. You are my wife. So even from age 18, he's calling you my wife, my husband, my wife. So that one is different. Mm. 
Mm. It's about where you will have to search. Find yourself in a lecture hall, find yourself in a company, find yourself on the streets, meet somebody, park your car for no reason to call somebody and try to know the person. Then you build friendships to understand the person and then you move on with the person. And then the both of you can know that we've known each other that much to settle down. And, and, and when you're able to do that, I'm telling you what, you'll be able to stay for long because it always builds on that friendship. I'm telling you on authority. It always builds on that friendship because without that friendship, you can't move it. We, we can't move it as far as we can maintain it. You can try. But I'm telling you, Nanaya, if people will open their mouth and genuinely tell you the truth, some divorced even one month in their marriage, but they are still in, and yeah. we are about 10 years. Just because of the, 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 the whole idea Soci of see, Oh, yes. Where we are, society. <laughs> yes. Soci I'm telling you, yes. society. Yes. If it's another country, so the person will have left, mm. but society. society somebody's yeah. religious background. Background. That's not permitted. Exactly. Like the person feels so. And society too, the person feels so. Mm -hmm. Somebody too, because of the relationship, my father and my spouse's father, ha. I can't, we can't marry it. We can't destroy a generational relationship because we can't get together. So we need to stay and keep the family relationship going on. Now, now I said things are happening. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. So, so then in that case, what, what are some of the, the, the critical things that would promote good friendship or great friendship? In marriage, you want to pick it? Let me talk about okay. it. <laughs> okay, some uh, the critical things that will promote good marriage. Yeah, good friendship. In good marriage. friendship yes. in marriage. Okay, so um, first, I will mention that you need to, the two of you have to believe in one God. Okay, let me let me explain. Let me explain it well. Mm -hmm. You see, if you are a Christian and you are going to marry, you need to find yourself a Christian. Mm -hmm. you, the, your belief is very, very important. The belief that you are going to share in that friendship, in that marriage, is very, very important. Because imagine you believe something that I don't believe in. Mm -hmm. But you, we are all going to find ourselves in one house. In the first place, when you are bringing forth even children, when they are growing, the issue of where they will go is a problem. It's going to be a problem. And especially when you, the man, will take most of the decision as to where the children should go, will also be a challenge. And but, so but Lawrence, be before you proceed, I'm, I'm struggling to, to come to par. What is trying to get to explain is, what the Bible says, but a matter is established when two agree. That's fair. Good. But so now, to talk now, about... So now what he's trying to prove further that you need to understand, or in, in terms of belief, is this. Uh -huh. If I believe in God, if I am a believer, but I am a Christian, okay, my, my, my house is solidified if my wife is a Christian because I have a prayer partner. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pray with her. Okay. And I'm going to build a family into that relationship. Uh-huh. But where I'm probably not a Christian, and my wife is a Christian, I might not understand religiously what is even happening. When I need my wife to be sleeping by me, she is doing a warfare prayer for the family. But and I wouldn't understand understand. why she's doing a warfare prayer for so the family. I is, need that, that is, so that is, that, is that not where friendship comes in so much that you would understand that this is my wife, this is who she is, she is my friend, I know what she does, I know she has to pray. And so you understand it. No, 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 when, when it comes to religion, eh? When it comes to religion and beliefs and culture, these things, there are so many things. From the beginning, I want her, I will understand her. But see, when you realize that it's going to be like this, so God calls any of us. If you don't take it, you have people who will start leading back and saying, this is not what I came in for. And the battles of marriage start from the day you get married. It never stops. You keep fighting it. You keep pushing it. Things keep messing up. You understand? So, mm -hmm. if it continues like that, and you, the man, you don't have a woman like he's saying that you are in the same category, the same understanding, the same belief it's system. Really I'm telling you, there are times that I get so tired, and I am dead asleep. But I can hear, though in my sleep, I can hear my wife, her hand on on me like this, and she's praying. So she knows that my husband is so tired today, but I've got to pray for the family. So she's praying, 
and she's holding my hand, and she's connecting with me, and she's praying, do I must sleep. You understand? But if you don't have somebody who understands you in that level, I'm telling you, you can't carry that bed, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be serious. You can't I see. carry that bed. That's, I think, how, I that, think that's how you always have Muslims going for Muslims, you have Christians yes. going for Christians. But I, I, you ah, see, yes, that is where I find I find the, the difficulty in, in, in assessing or ascertaining where the, the line falls with good relationship between the two people and the religion. But we'll come back to that. I'm going to go on my, my, my very first break. But before I go, uh, this is coming from Ayala, Ayala from Kumasi Sofo Line. Ayala says, Mr. Host, I'm enjoying your, uh, this, your program. I've really learned a lot. From the pastor, um, this is coming from your classmate way back at, well, the school you mentioned is not my school, but I accept it. Which Thank pizza? you. <laughs> Assem boys. Maybe you were trying to spell a decider. You know how these uh, phones yeah, can... Phones, yeah. I wonder why we call them smartphones. <laughs> they are never they're, smart. They're never <laughs> smart. <laughs> anyway, we'll be back shortly. <laughs> All right, so welcome back. If you are just joining us, uh, we are still in the men's lounge and we are discussing um, so roommates or spouse. Obviously, uh, the mistakes that uh, men make when it comes to uh, some of these marriage uh, relationships. And so, before we left off, Lois, we were talking about the critical things that uh, would promote... Uh, Friendship. Friendship mm. in marriages. Marriage. But before you go on, there is a message coming from out. I appreciate that you kindly add your name. But for example, these are some of the mistakes you do. You are a married man. If yes, then where are your rings? And I'm sure the question comes to the, <laughs> <laughs> the two of you. I know. I, somebody, I, I, I know. Somebody, so I know where it are come your rings? Let, can, I, can I just answer it? Let me answer. Let, let, let me answer my first. Okay, uh, okay. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> let me answer my first. Um, I removed my. Why? Because it got stacked. It got stacked. How and long my, ago was that? Oh, that is uh, about a year now. And for a whole year. A whole year now. It got stacked. You have done nothing about it. It got stacked. You have no so excuse. I have to. No, no, no. Lawrence, I have, you have I no excuse. No, I have an excuse. Oh, yeah, 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 but, but I, on I, a very serious note, yeah. it took me like two months to be able to figure out how to remove it. Because I even went to the to the hospital to try for them to remove. I, I think oh the doctor really? even got me scared mm. because he was just looking at it and said, no, the way your hand is swollen, I think I have to do something about it. So I suspected, Charlie, this guy want to do something <laughs> fishy <laughs> with my hand. You should so have just cut it. <laughs> <laughs> so then I went to, I resort to YouTube yeah. to check how to remove a stacked they, ring. Yeah, they used mm. the rope. Yes, yeah, so I used the rope. There were so many so many, um, soap, uh, hair, but the soap <coughs> didn't work for me. It was a no, 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 serious. Hey, it was serious. It but got stuck. It, Nanea, if you watch my hand uh -huh. critically, you uh -huh. can still see the line. It's not just mine. My wife's own it also off. Yeah. I, me, I can't see. Yeah. But why is it no, off? No, I mean, <laughs> oh, it's off because of the same reason. Name me, I mean. And we, I tried to get a new one. And wife, he said. Uh, hold on. Is it that you don't buy your size or when you guys no, get no, married? No, no, no. I guess, yeah, of course. I've been married for seven years. I'm in my 11th year. Yeah. No, 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 you know me. Hey, relax. What? So you've been eating for seven years? Oh, no. If, if, if you have been fed uh -huh. listen, for, for that heard, much, I I mean, it will happen uh, like so that. So we that we don't look big there. We are not being fed. <laughs> no, man, Lawrence, you, you will be fine before you leave <laughs> no, here today. I, I think uh, that's the way somebody you can probably catch it, that it can expand. Uh -huh. I tried it, and it was still pressing on me. So no, you with, can with, send it for actually, I can, My phone is, I can show you. I've actually ordered one that we will use for our seventh anniversary in December. Mm. So for myself and YP, which is big enough. So ring is something I don't hide. And see, <laughs> ring is something I don't hide. So it's not, it's not, there are thousand and one married men who are wearing rings and I'm telling and you, they wish. It's disaster. They never, they never wore the ring. So yeah. that one is yeah. not even an yeah, issue. Yeah. That's, yeah. That shouldn't be an issue it's at all. Issue. all right, because so, so our typical traditional marriage, men don't wear rings. Yeah. It's the women who wear it. And so it's but, okay but that our we don't fathers wear. have been faithful. Oh, it, it, our fathers it, have been it's not right. Okay. And we are still faithful. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you're, yeah, you're, you're, no, I'm I said talking, we are still faithful. Uh, yeah, yes, I'm talking for men. So I have to, I have to be discreet here. You know, I'm talking so, for so, men. So, so, could you let's make it simple. Okay. So, spouse or roommate? Spouse. Spouse or roommate? Spouse. So, since we both, or you, I mean, you both 
would agree that it has to be spouse and no roommate. Uh -huh. How do you deal with matters when you begin to realize that the relationship is becoming a roommate, a roommate instead, of a instead of a spouse? How do you begin to deal with it? Well, no, no. If I if I will explain this, see, I'm not going to be like what everybody say. There's something I have realized. Mm -hmm. Men or spouses like making you feel that my spouse, my partner has started or is doing. When they come to you with complaints and my husband has started, my wife has started, listen to me. Whatever that it is that you are doing with your husband, whatever you, you, it is that you are doing with your wife, as a man, whatever you are doing with your wife, if things are drowning and you feel that she's no more the spouse you know, but she's getting into the place of becoming a roommate, listen, women don't just jump and make decisions. Oh, I'm they must have thought about it for long. Exactly. <laughs> a woman will go through process. She sometimes will talk and you think she's nagging or she will keep quiet and you think that she's stupid. But she knows whatever she's thinking up there. There are things men were doing before marriage. They were doing it about two, three, four, five, even a year in the marriage. And then now, your wife goes to work, she comes back, she's tired. And then in the marriage, I'm fresh in the marriage, they're like, Honey, you might be really tired, right? You massage her, you take her to the shower. <laughs> and she didn't ask for these things, but you did it as a husband to make her happy. Mm -hmm. you, have, you have schooled her now. That's how women are. My father will tell you, if you cannot open that door for her every day, don't start Don't, don't even try it. My auntie will always tell me that, Danny, we the women, if you give us 10 CDs every day as shop money, and you don't give us today, we won't understand. We will tell people that you don't give us money at all. So she made it general, but you need to understand how women move and what they do. So the things that you should ask yourself, what have I stopped doing? You the man. Mm -hmm. Don't push it to the woman first. Okay. The woman might have started messing up, I understand, but you ask yourself, what is it that I used to do that I'm not doing anymore? What is it that I used to uh, uh, put together that I am not? Look at all those things. Now align yourself and start doing them. I'm telling you, the same woman you think has become a roommate will be shifting back into becoming a spouse. And that is it. So mistakes, most of the mistakes, it doesn't come from the, the other partner. You, the man, sit down, assess yourself, ask yourself. The things that I used to do for this woman in the early part of the marriage, am I still doing it? You understand? You go, you come home late, this woman will not sleep. She will stay and wait for you mm -hmm. and she will do something for you to eat. You don't even appreciate her. But first, when she, you come home late and she's even like, oh honey, no, sleep baby, I'll handle it. But now, you come home late and she's tired, you know she's tired. And she's sleeping, you wake, wake her up, I'll back cry to four bed crying. <laughs> you know, so, so, you, you, so yeah, you, go on. You to the tables, you, you turn it yourself. Mm -hmm. And when you turn the tables yourself and you waff, waff a left lane, then you are coming back to say, say, why are you behaving like that on the left lane? Mm -hmm. Who took us to the left lane? You did it. So so when you begin to realize these things, what should you do? You the man. Yes. Because you assess yourself first. Mm -hmm. When you assess yourself, talk to your wife. She's your best friend. Tell her. And women like it when you let them know that you are the first person who made a mistake. And you've realized their mistake too. And you're ready for us to patch it up. Don't come blaming them. If you come blaming them, you will know that they are a real encyclopedia. I'm no, telling you. Too. They'll give you dates, time. <laughs> 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 we'll, 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 we'll continue that. But before we go on, this is coming from Frank. Frank from Takarade. I like your program. Please, the pastor said we are to marry someone of the same belief. But forgetting the, doc, uh, the doctrinal... Uh, problems in churches. Some of the churches in Ghana do not allow their members to marry from other churches. For me, marriage is understanding and not your, not our belief. Sule Muntari married a Christian and they are living well together to date. I said something of a, so maybe I said something, yeah. I said that there are people, I, I know a family mm -hmm. who are married. The man is a Muslim, the woman is a Christian. Mm -hmm. The children are not forced to join any belief. And I already told that there are five kids, two are Muslims, three are Christians. They're happily living. I'm not saying that no matter what, marriage or marriage, but what is important is the understanding you're talking about. Where is it coming from? The understanding is coming from your belief system, your cultural system. It's the understanding we have. Nanaya is a Muslim. The girl is a, is, is, is a Christian. Nanaya and the girl understand each other that though I'm a Christian, you are a Muslim, we can live together, build our family. It's understanding. So, 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 see, that point, so that point actually no. uh, 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 then goes against what you have said earlier. No, it doesn't go against it. Having, to, you having see, to have the same beliefs. No, the no. issue is that, you see, they are living together 
by different faiths because the, f the two families have also agreed that these people should be together and will disturb them. If you have a family that has this strong belief that mm -hmm. you do not go anywhere to another belief, it won't work. Uh, but uh, you, know that you, work. you know that in a part of the world, it's families that marry, not yeah, individuals. Yeah, it won't work. You can love their a family Muslim have to system. allow you to yeah. do to You can go. love a Muslim sister. Your family will say never, ever. If the family says no, it is a no. The issue you discussed yesterday, the girl who, 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 who died, whose uh -huh. husband shot yeah. her, it was the family that took her from the, from the husband's house. She didn't want to go. Yeah. So it's, it's family. The family took her from the place. Well, so, so, so that's how it is. So well, let, let's, let's come back home. <laughs> <laughs> let's so come back home. I accept what the, boy, the guy has written. Uh -huh. uh, I don't know his name, um, but what he said. Frank, his name Frank. is Frank. Yeah. I accept what Frank said. Yeah. It's not wrong. All I'm saying is this. That understanding he's talking about is mm -hmm. broad. The understanding he's talking about has to do with culture, has to do with religious, has to do with personal and everything. Belief is belief. You understand? So it's true. If, you don't, if I don't understand you, I cannot be with you, in the, uh, with you either in the same belief or out of the same belief. I need to understand you first. But when it comes to the indoctrination and all those, the indoctrination and all those things of churches and that one is another topic. Yeah, yeah, that one is a totally different thing. It's yeah, a totally yeah. different thing. Well, so, so we spoke all. about what you should do. And then I think you spoke about the fact that you should assess yourself first and then be ready to, to, to call your spouse yeah, to yeah. a discussion. By first yeah. of all, accepting that you, you're probably wrong. Men are too egoistic, be, be, Before, before you even <laughs> begin to point out. Yeah. And then, so what else? What else should you do beyond that? Lawrence. Okay, okay. so a typical example. The man is supposed to be the spiritual head mm -hmm. of, the house. of the house. So you are the priest, you are the king, and you are the prophet. You see, we relegate some of these things to the woman. And they are much closer to God. Oh, really? You don't know. <laughs> they are much closer <laughs> to hey! God. You no, don't know. No. No. Co could you, hold on. Could okay. you, do you know this? That or women are much closer. On what grounds? Good. Or women are much closer to, no, much closer to oh, On what grounds? Don't you realize how much God loves women more? No. It's no. not like God loves women more. Women are made in such a way that they can stand. They're the too that special. Will, the th the thing they that will make you run away. They, they are will so, not run away. They are so hard-hearted. They are... Look, you see, w uh, the, the way they were they made, are even smarter than men. No, no, they are not smarter. No, they, they, they are able to. Oh, no, they are ones. smarter than men. You see, you see, uh, for for the man, uh -huh. for example, First uh, Corinthians chapter three verse, uh, chapter eleven verse three, uh -huh. Christ is the head of the husband, God is the head of Christ, and husband is the head of the woman or the wife. Okay, so if you are in the house, you should be able to do those declarations and be praying for the family. But I'm saying that we relegate these things to the women to be doing it. I'm telling you. Sometimes on Sunday, what do you, most men would drive, especially if you have one car in the house, would drive the children to church. and the wife to the church, and they will go play football, meet with friends, drink, play golf, and all those things. Mm -hmm. Okay? The wife is not happy, but can't complain. So... She has probably complained. You've not listened. So she just maybe like that. But if you have... A husband that do not allow the wife to talk, mm -hmm. and it's like a boss master relationship, a boss uh, servant relationship in the house. The woman cannot talk. That's not marriage. That's contract. I, yes, but it. Well, we have some. Is. Yeah, we have some marriages that those things exist. Yeah. You dare not say any word because your husband says this, so you have to follow. So I'm saying that because the husband is supposed to be the spiritual head, and it's not performing that duty. You will see the woman always standing in the gap, okay. praying, and bringing the children together so that none will get lost. Mm -hmm. So we, the men, would tend now to be blaming the women that, why is it that all the children loves you, they are closer to you, and everything you say they obey, but when I come home, nobody in you welcome me? Because you've relegated those duties okay. to the woman. And so the moment you realize that, you need to come back and say that, no, I'm doing something wrong. Let me fix it. And, and, and not if I won't cut you, what you just said right now, I just did to myself. Anytime wife would tell me, let's, let's do a Bible study with the kids. I'm like, I preach to the church. I minister to people. Minister to the kids, I tell him. Preach to the kids. I kept on doing preach to the kids. And then I, 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 I later on realized that, ah, the Bible said, that a man of God who cannot take care of his home, how can he even take care of the church? Okay. So my first church members are my wife and my kids. 
And instead of preaching to them, I would rather tell my wife, I'd rather talk to them. And then me, so I had to come to that resolution, come to that, uh, 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 that conscientization that no, I need to now put my family and teach them the word. You understand? All I can do is my wife can support, but I need to teach my family. And them, I need to declare on my kids, declare on my wife. So I'm telling you, till now, my wife has no move. It doesn't matter how tired I am. She has no move from the house to work without Definitely. me praying for her and declaring to her life. And that is it. Because she's my first church. And then any other things. So, like he has said, we need to <coughs> accept something. And remember, you know, the ego. we are too oh, egoistic. Ask for the ego, yeah. No, I mean, master, it's, master, it's, master. it's almost obvious that yeah. we, we... But I'm sure we can do something about it. But oh, but a lot of men do not want to succumb to it. But Charlie, we are egoistic. We are the ones um, breaking our homes. Yeah. It is what is making the women also smarter than us. Anyway, this is coming from those <laughs> watching from Facebook. So uh, this is uh, Obapa Linda Papebi, all the way from Italy. I really love this topic. Um, this is uh, Dimpoli. Uh, I'm also watching from Botswana. Thank you, Dimpoli, for watching. Um, Yvonne Dati says, good evening, sweeties. Talk of Christianity to merge the, diver um, the diversity in worship even creates uh, proper tension and relationship wounds grow. This is coming from Skero, from Tema. So this is also coming from Enima. Enima in Kumasi says, some men are really difficult to understand. Men want their wives to be what they want, but they, they don't want to be what their wives what want them to, to be. Well, I'm sure the men will tell you that you are not their parents. <laughs> 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 so this is, oh, this thing. Okay, so this is coming from Emmanuel. And Emmanuel says, Okay, please tell Kojo that extraneous factors that are unreasonable can make a woman a roommate. A bad family that tells their daughter, put pressure on your husband till he surrenders his earnings to us. Unreasonable demand, but it will happen. Um, but it's happened to me. Let's face it there. There are unreasonable women from terrible families with weird expectations. This Same is one me. reason we, we are divorced. Can you imagine a father-in-law who calls you and asks you to stop having intimacy with his daughter till he decides otherwise? Mm. And my former wife agreed with the dad. Well, I am free now. This is coming from Ima. Yeah. Okay, no, 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 this is Ima's case is, is, is something. It's extreme. It's, 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 extreme. it's, it's extreme. It's extreme, eh? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ima's case is extreme. Because, okay. of course, obviously, I'm married to your daughter. That ends. That ends. I, I, I respect you as a father-in-law. But, hey, but, you but you are not paying. You have to pay before. Pay what? <laughs> pay I didn't buy it. Your daughter is your commodity. See, let's well, understand this. That's what Ivano is trying to tell us. Yeah, there's so a I'm contract, you there's a contract between. Yeah, yeah. There's no the, contract. There's the, nothing. The, I married the, your. I married a family. Uh -huh. I married your daughter. I married a family. Yeah. If you if you treat me this way, Christmas is not here anymore. That's yeah, yeah, Christmas. But I bought one fan continent. Yes, because you're no. making me feel like I bought a commodity. I didn't yeah. buy your daughter. I did not. Well, we make men treat women like sometimes. Something. Sometimes uh -huh. it can also happen that before the marriage. The man made it seem like I will take of the f your family. You see, you have made a proposal. Mm. Don't worry. A silent proposal. Mm -hmm. Or some some will do, or be, some even tell them that oh, don't worry. Yeah, I'm that, to take care or because of yes, yes. And and you've <coughs> married my daughter. In the marriage, we've been expecting some of the things. It's not. Yeah, Lawrence, you see things like this. They're, you need to you need to. Yeah, but the that parents will also realize that this one is, is like campaign. You know, by after so, election, no campaign. You see, so so, so don't uh, so, so don't like you no, mentioned. No, don't start not. something you cannot compete. Oh no no, 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 no. For this one, uh -huh. I'll push it to the woman. Mm -hmm. Listen, if you're a woman, and your father is doing this, if you love your husband, stay with your husband, and speak to your father. Your husband is not going to talk to your father for you. But if you go on the side of your father, I'm telling you what, the man will leave. You have broken that marriage. It is not the man. Yeah. If you're a woman and your father is intruding your marriage, because listen, I will tell you, I'm telling everybody, I have never ever discussed my marriage with my mother ever before. And my wife has also, has also never moved anything out of our marriage to even her parents. Never, ever. We solve it ourselves. So if the third party in your marriage is not God, but your parents, I'm telling you, your marriage is doomed. Could you relax? Relax. I'm serious. Did you smoke a different week? I did not. I'm being serious. I'm being very... Because, you see, marriages are collapsing on, on, on very petty yeah, grounds. Yeah, mm. yeah, Like, yeah. petty, petty things. Mm. The woman, you can solve this. You love your husband. Your father is intruding. Dad, I'm married to the man. I love him. His, 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 his businesses are not on... It's not going like it was. But it's, it's, it's love. It will, it, will, it will come... It will, it will be better. So, please... At the right time, we will come and see. But who could you know, Papa? Okay, the man will leave. 
And that so is I understand why him. Yeah. Seriously, so I understand him. And that's why we need to stop some of the discussions that we do with our parents mm. when we marry. Yeah. Because you see, for example, if your spouse wrongs you and you go mention it to the family, especially when you, f you, man you the man, you feel like as for this one, the family must sit to decide mm -hmm. and to agree. Mm -hmm. You see, you sell your wife to the family. They will resolve the issue. But you will forgive. You, the husband, after everything, you will forgive your wife. But the family, for will all you know, you. Yeah, will not forgive and your it wife. It becomes a problem. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And they will be having that thing in their mind. Any time there is an issue, they will raise it. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so that's why it is not even good at all to discuss any of those marriage issues mm -hmm. with a third party, not to talk of, say, you are going to discuss it with, with your mother or your parents. Is God, I'm yes. you. All right. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so um, this is coming from uh, Jacob. Jacob from Takrad, he says, Good evening. I'm loving your show, and I agree with Pastor and Lawrence because 90% of the marriages are determined by our uh, families. Uh, this is also coming from, wow. This is so long. I'd advise that you kindly keep it short <laughs> <laughs> so that I can, I can take it. I'm, the, I'm the very old thesis. Yeah. It might be somebody's so story. I anyway. tell you. Hello, I love your program. This uh, Becky uh, Hull City. I believe you have to marry a man you can call a father, a brother, and a friend. Mm -hmm. With this, there's no issue that cannot be resolved. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll go back to the very long one and try to uh, take it after um, something I'm going to show you. So when I started, I did mention that this uh, today... Uh, is a maritime week, and I, I, I told you something, uh, a theme that has been... But there is something that's coming up. Um, every year on the 27th of September is the World Tourism Day. And also to remind you that the Global Media Alliance Group, okay, GMABC, uh, have the Made in Ghana month. And so we are very excited to, soon on the screen, you'll be seeing that real very soon, to show you some sites, tourism attractions, that you can visit. Remember, the ban is being lifted. It's being lifted beyond the return. Things are going to start happening. And so keep an eye on this. All right, so welcome back. We are still in the lounge uh, discussing spouse or roommate. Which one? The mistakes that the men make. So um, let me take a few messages. And then after the messages, I'll open the phone line so that um, those, of, those of you watching and are ready to call can also call and ask uh, Lawrence and then could you some, some questions. So this is coming from... Kindly add your name next time, but I'll do you that justice. My brothers, the only way family can stop marriage is when the man doesn't know how to use money. Only poverty can stop couples <laughs> to get <laughs> married. So let's talk money. All right. Uh, so this is coming from Kwame. Kwame is speaking from Kojokromi in Takarade. So trustworthy, honest, very dependable, and loyal are some of the characteristics about true friend. Please, I'm in a relationship with a true friend, and we are about to get married next year, January Yay, 2021. Nice. <laughs> I gave her a promise ring, and she is the true friend, married material uh, we are talking about. Along the line, this lady went and slept with another guy for the first time, and she pleaded with me that she doesn't know what came over her. I forgave her because I love her. She has repeated the same thing with, an, with the same guy. I refuse to forgive her this, forgive her this time for this attitude of her. And now she's complaining to people that I don't want to forgive her because she has tried to explain everything to me and I don't want to take her back. And I'm also requesting for my promised ring. <laughs> my question is that because she carries or she has all the characteristics of a true friend and she's a good married material, should I forgive her and take her back? Please help me because I still love her, but I want to protect myself also. This was a long one. Ah. Before you go, and I'm going <laughs> to announce the phone lines. Okay, okay, so the phone lines are open now, and the number is on your screen is 0555 I repeat, 0555 Let the calls start coming through. Let me give you a very last one. So, marriage should be with someone you can fool around with. Your spouse should be your best friend because it makes solving issues so easy. This is coming from Edith, Edith from Tema East. Thank you very much, Edith, for your message. So, what's the guy's name? The one who said the long. Uh, Kojo, Kojo from. Uh, 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 no, uh, he's from uh, Kojo, Kojo Krum in Takrade. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, it's a very delicate issue. Mm -hmm. um, you see, there's a reason why the lady keeps going to the guy. And there's a reason why she fell for the guy. It can be physical, it can be spiritual, whatever reason it is. But there's a reason. A woman you describe as. 
um, God fearing and marriage material. Well, yo, let me hold you on a little bit. There's a yeah. caller on the line. Okay. Hello, caller. Good evening. Your name and then where you're calling from. Good evening. I'm Stephen. Hi, Stephen. Let's hear you. Uh, please, I want to know something about my my current relationship, and I need the pastor to advise me. Okay, let's hear you. Sharp. Stephen, are you there? Well, I'm sure we must have lost him. Stephen, kindly try and then call back. I'm sure the uh, uh, technical yeah. people. Hello. Hello, Stephen. Can you hear us? Yeah. All right, please let's hear you then. Okay. I'm in a relationship with a lady, and we were we were formally staying together. And during the period that we were staying together, I went to meet her, and we did a knocking. Later, during that same six months, she she planned on packing the things, going back to stay with the mother. Then I I tried ways to tell her that look, within this year I'm going to marry, and she stayed. Within that same three months, the next three months, rather, she packed her things and moved. And now my, my but I'm full of this whole thing. She packs and goes, she packs and goes. So I'm wondering if this is going to be the marriage and this is going to be the situation. Hmm. Well, um, Stephen, thank you very much. I'm sure Kojo and the lawyers would will, will put some thoughts to it immediately. <laughs> are we to one side now? Oh, yeah, I mean, you can Okay, you can so, uh, Stephen, uh, if, if you are watching, I want to tell you this. Um, your, your, your spouse-to-be cannot just be packing out. She's probably speaking to someone. She's probably speaking to her mom or somebody. She's probably also sitting down and assessing the things that you keep on telling me the same thing. I don't see any results. You tell me you will marry me. Three months come, I don't see it. You know, and maybe you're also not opening up fully to her in terms of whatever you need to put together to marry her. Any woman who feels she's gotten to that edge of having a ring on her finger and it's not happening, sometimes they feel that you, the man, you are just occupying the space. Another person is ready, but because of you, that person cannot come. So it, it gives them reasons to move out of the house, to move out of your life, to move. And, 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 and sometimes they also feel that when, when I get out of the house, he will know I am serious and he will come and marry me. So there are a lot of factors. There's, the time is short. I can't talk about all of them. But Stephen, I think if you really mean to marry this woman and she's somebody you really, really love, don't go and call her to come back. Rather go and tell the people, I am ready. I'm ready to marry you. All right, that so is what Stephen, to bring her back. That is what uh, Kojo tells her. Lawrence, before I come to you, there's a caller on the line. Good evening, caller. Your name and then where you're calling from. Uh, my name is Alaji Mustafa. Oh, Hi, Alaji. Let's hear you, please. Yeah. Uh, I want to know if you are married to a woman and a woman every time she is complaining, every time small thing is nagging, can you know can you continue to marry her? Oh, you are not married? Alright, so if you are married to a woman and every time she's nagging, she's nagging, can you yes. continue to marry her? Elijah, that I believe that's your question. All right, so thank you very much, Alaji. And then uh, this is also to say that this Alaji's call is actually our uh, very last one. Unfortunately, we, we are pressed for time, and so we'll hold on the rest of the calls. We're probably going to bring you a part two, but before we end, Kojo, mm -hmm. Alaji says if you're married to a woman mm -hmm. and the woman keeps nagging and nagging and, and complaining, should you leave? Will Alaji want to tell me he didn't know this before she got married to the woman, before he got married to the woman? <laughs> Maybe the woman hid that character. And it's now showing it. Yeah. But see, like I always say, Nanaya, women, is, uh, when I say women, I'm talking about like 95 to 97%, do not just get up to nag. Yeah. There is always an underlining factor. So don't look at the nagging. Look at the root of that mm. nagging. You reap what you sow, eh? So when you look at the root of the nagging yeah. and you solve the root, you'll stop nagging. I'm telling you. Okay. So, yes. Alaji, kindly look at the root of the nagging, solve it, and I'm sure that will stop. Uh, this is coming from Sarah. Sarah says, good evening. This is Sarah. Um, should a man always be ab uh, to ab abuse her, um, his wife verbally whenever there is a misunderstanding between them? Um, yeah. Let's, uh, let's, let's take it. I have for, an answer to it, but let me just. <laughs> for, for abuse in any form. Yeah. Abuse in any form right. shouldn't, so yeah, shouldn't yeah. be entertained in the yeah. house. Yeah. So it, it doesn't matter what the situation is. Normally for, for argument in the house, especially with a man, you know that by all means 
something can happen. Either you will also fight back, you will throw your hand, or you will say certain words mm -hmm. that will not go down well with your wife. So the best thing is to leave the scene. When you leave the scene, by the time you come down, a tempest would have just uh, come down and then you'll be fine. But if you want to stay and do that argument, Even she it says, it you also say, you want to show that you yeah, are the man, man. by all means your hand will go. So you should be the tenant, eh? <laughs> no, you just, you want to bring peace to the <laughs> house. So that once you want to bring peace mm -hmm. to the house, yeah. the best thing is to leave the scene. Because you see, for women, they want to always prove a point. And you, the man, you want to show that you are the man in the house. So you cannot challenge me. And so by all means, your hand will go. Now, yeah, and that is where the issue will now, yeah, In just 10 seconds, that. I want to ask mm -hmm. a question. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah, there's a question. Bible said that a man will leave his house and he will go for a wife. Mm -hmm. And they shall cleave together and they will become one. So when you're married, you are one. You and your wife, you have become one body. Now the question is, will you insult yourself? Kojo, I will try to answer your question <laughs> in the part two of this particular episode. Yes. Guys, thank you so much for being part of this evening. Kojo, thank you for pa coming through the lounge. Lawrence, thank you. Um, I would want to ask that you kindly come around again. Uh, next week so that we can have a part two there seem to be so much so many questions coming through so many calls we have to forgo unfortunately because of uh the the, the fact that we are pressed for time and so we'll would hold on uh, for this week next week when we are back we should be able to go back to the show um, i mean the discussion and then throw more light on whether it is spouse or roommate thank you very much for being part of this evening thank you to casa preko alomo bites thank you to promasido for giving us yam vita to be part of our show next week we'll come back with another exciting episode of the Men's Lounge. Please be safe.